To replace an auger bearing in your snowblower, use a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the three mounting screws to release the belt cover. Secure the auger and use the 7 16 inch socket to unthread the bolt securing the auger pulley. Release the brake and remove the pulley and belt. Now unthread the screws securing the auger assembly. Unthread the three screws on the right side of the auger housing. You can now fully remove the auger assembly. If you're replacing the left side auger bearing, you can now side the old bearing off of the shaft. If you're replacing the right side bearing, use a 916 inch socket to unthread the bolt to release the bearing assembly. Pull back the spacer tabs to release the flange, and you can remove the old bearing. Before you install the new right side auger bearing, make sure the washer is in place in the spacer. Set the bearing into the spacer, and snap on the flange. Make sure the washer is in place on the auger shaft, then slide on the assembly. Thread the bolt to secure. When installing a left side bearing, make sure the washer is on the shaft, then slide on the bearing. Now reinstall the auger assembly by inserting the shaft through the hole in the left side of the housing, then align the assembly on the right side of the housing. Rethread the three screws. Align the flange on the left side, then thread the screws. With the drive belt looped around the auger pulley, align the belt on the drive pulley and under the brake as you position the auger pulley on the shaft. Slide on the washer, then thread the bolt to secure the pulley. Confirm that the belt is seated properly. Then replace the belt cover and secure it with the screws. Your snowblower should now be ready for use.